Sienna is well known for being the company that builds a circulatory system for the internet. What I like to say is we make the internet go fast and we make it go far and now I'm going to tell you about how we're going to make it go big. But a lot of services out there are still the old TDM services. They're the services that were established over the last decades of network construction. So these are the old T1, E1 services all the way up through what they would call SON and SDH services. Even some people would think of some of the OTN services being TDM types of services. The problem we've got is a lot of our customers are running multiple parallel networks then. I want to be able to have one network that provides all these different types of services. How can I take that network and make it adapt to this rich set of services? services that I want to offer. With PTS, you can start to converge those. You can bring all those different service types onto one network infrastructure. That fits inside of the adaptive network framework. The customers that are going to be interested in PTS are the ones that have historically had TDM services, legacy services, where they built individual bespoke networks to provide those types of services. If you've got a customer that is still se selling T1s, E1s, SON and SDH types of services, all different classes of TDM, they should be looking today at the PTS as a convergence mechanism to get them ready for the future. So one of the biggest changes that's in front of all of our customers is scale. Because how do I get more and more connectivity out to the edge of the network? That in entails huge amounts of scale many more locations where you can get on the network. Think of, you know, instead of having tens and hundreds of antennas in a city, think of having thousands and tens of thousands of antennas in a city. How do you automate and control and orchestrate all that? That's the scale issue that our customers are going to have to deal with. So the way you address massive scale like that is with software intelligence. It's the exact same technique that we're using with IP internet protocol. We're making it simpler. We're making it more intelligent and that gives us the ability to allow our customers to scale up and and make it work inside of the adaptive network framework.